Hey, I'm Matt from Matt Lean Fitness. And I'm Jenna. Yee. <sighs> what are we doing today? We are going to Starbucks, Matt's favorite place ever. <laughs> so, a couple weeks ago, we asked for your feedback about what we should do a video on, and we heard multiple times that you guys, you, wanted to hear what our recommendation would be for better alternatives from Starbucks. So those of you who don't want to give up your Starbucks habit, but you want to consume a few less calories. So we're going to Starbucks. Do me a favor, before we dive into the video, hit the notification bell. That way, every time we make a video, you know about it. All right, let's go to the land of the bucks. What, what does Michael say? Oh man, that place is like the promised land. <laughs> I should have spotted another addict. He was doing everything he could to relate to that girl. Yep. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Mistake. That's not Starbucks. But... No. <laughs> but I feel like we should put that in there. I will. <laughs> what do you think, Matt? What do you think we're gonna we're gonna find today? I don't have a clue. I don't ever go to Starbucks. I'm not a, I'm not a big coffee drinker, so I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I just know it's high priced, high caloried low nutrition crap that they serve. That's my expectation. I'm glad I've done my homework because I know what I'm ordering. Yeah, I'll get a froppy loppy, whatever that is. Thanks for the Starbucks, I'll be with you in just a second. Okay, thank you. Oh, and they're out of the mocha cookie crumble. Hmm? They're out of the mocha cookie crumble. Good. <laughs> All right, what can I get to say about that week? Oh, no problem. Um, I'll get a venti pumpkin spice latte. Hot rice. Hot. Alright. Um, and then another pumpkin spice latte venti but with no whipped cream and with almond milk. And then I'll get a cinnamon dolce uh, latte uh, venti as well with everything sugar free. Can mm -hmm. I get uh, almond milk with it instead? Yep. Okay, thank you. Alright, 1876. Alright, thank you. 1876 for three drinks. No, so the reason why I ordered what I did, I did some homework ahead of time. It's pumpkin spice season, so I wanted to order a pumpkin spice latte and then order an alternative version, in case that's your thing, to compare the nutritional facts side by side. And then also, I recently discovered a cinnamon dolce latte where I work has a Starbucks and uh, I had a moment of weakness and needed a, a Starbucks coffee a couple of weeks ago, and it was divine. <laughs> yes, I described a coffee as divine. It was really good. I didn't even know you described a coffee just then. <laughs> it's nice and cool in there. I didn't hear it. A nutty eight. It's nice and cold in there, it feels like. And do we want stoppers for these? Yes, please. Okay. I'm pretty sure homegirls saw you doing that. I'm leaving that in. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good day. What the hell do you do with that? Well, hopefully you're feeling squirrely today because we got three giant coffees. What do I grab? <laughs> That's what she said. Jenna. <laughs> okay, let's go to another parking lot. This parking lot makes me anxious. It's taste test time. Here's the unfortunate thing. Starbucks doesn't have a skinny... Uh, syrup for pumpkin spice. So the alternative was to get no whipped cream and do almond milk. That happened to be the lowest calorie, lowest fat milk option that they had. So that's this one. Perfect. This is the regular one. Wait, so this is a like a regular one, what everybody would get? Yeah. Okay. This is a vanilla what? Pumpkin latte? It's a pumpkin spice latte for those of you who live in well, this century. That says vanilla. That's it's it. venti. Okay, whatever. Let's go. Let's taste it. Is it hot? We're in Florida. Why would you get hot coffee? Look at. I, I want you to just zoom in on that. Yeah, I guess so. I'm gonna burn my mouth. Ah, my teeth are already fuzzy. All right, now it's your turn. It smells good. It smells like basic white girls. Look at that. Lord. You get more liquid. All right, what is this? This is the almond milk, no whip 
pumpkin spice latte. That's still, that's beautiful right there. That's still really good. That's heaven in a cup right there. All right. Truth time. God, why is it hot? <laughs> we gotta... Ah, why is everything hot? We're in Florida. It's Florida. Can, so can you get this in like a cold version? Yeah. That would have been a good idea. So this is like the healthy option? Yeah. The less terrible option. <sighs> See, I would drink that. That's mm -hmm. good. That, yeah, that tastes good. That doesn't, it actually, it doesn't taste like a cake in my mouth. The almond milk version tastes lighter. It's almost better. It's not so heavy like you're eating a giant piece of cake when you drink the other one. Don't pour it out. Don't, Don't pour, pour it out. <sighs> All right, what do I do with that? You just wasted like $18. Mm. Let's talk nutrition facts between the two, the regular pumpkin spice latte and the alternative. Thank goodness for smartphones. So the regular pumpkin spice latte, venti with whipped cream and 2% milk is 470 calories. Good Lord. As opposed to the almond milk with no whip, pumpkin spice latte brings it all the way down to 290 calories. It's almost a 200 calorie difference. Wow. There's 66 carbs and the regular pumpkin spice latte. Jesus. It brings it down to 52 with the almond milk and no whip. It's still a lot. That's but a lot. Th I mean, that's a fairly significant difference. Yeah. Um, same amount of caffeine, of course. Side note on the caffeine. <clears throat> so some people would say, well, yeah, I need the medium or the large for the caffeine. An espresso shot is 127 milligrams of caffeine, five calories, and an espresso shot, what is it? You're already spending X amount of dollars, so, like, if you really want to make that argument, get an espresso shot. Yeah, it's called espresso, but another significant nutrition fact that I want to bring to light is the amount of sugar in both of these. There are 64 grams of sugar in a regular pumpkin spice latte. Wow. With the almond milk and with no whip, it does bring it down to 47 grams of sugar, but that is still a very significant amount of sugar, yeah. even with your alternative pumpkin spice latte with the almond milk. Yeah. The lighter pumpkin one that we tried, that really did taste better to mm -hmm. me. Well, and think about if you get a Starbucks every day and you just do those changes, that's 200 fewer calories every single day yeah that's that huge. adds up a lot i'm not saying that the alternative pumpkin spice latte is healthy but those little changes over time do make a really big difference yep that's 1400 calories in a week just by making some simple tweaks yeah i mean that's that's nearly a whole day's worth of calories yep. just by getting almond milk and no whip yep let's taste the cinnamon dolce so it's sugar-free syrup and it has almond milk in it mm, that's good all right, Matt. Why are they so full? Let's, let's... God dang, it's so hot. <laughs> ah, God, it burned me. Ah, we get napkins? <laughs> ah. I hope I got that on film. God. <laughs> Jesus, it's hot. All right. God, it's hot. Ugh, that sucks. You don't like it? Mm-mm. But I don't like coffee. Like, it's, That's a, true. it's a baseline of I don't like coffee. Right, we'll take that back. Okay, let's compare the nutrition facts for the Cinnamon Dolce Skinny Latte. Using MyFitnessPal. Thank you, MyFitnessPal. So this is for a venti. It has 160 calories. That's a lot different than the original pumpkin yeah. spice. It only has 24 carbs. It has 15 grams of protein. Interesting. And it has 21 grams of sugar still because of everything else in the drink even though the syrup is sugar free so while it isn't the greatest it's much more affordable as far as your daily caloric intake than the other two options that we've already presented so the cinnamon dolce if you just replace that with like some sort of hazelnut thing and it was just coffee i think i would like it yeah and they have other they i believe they do have a hazelnut or a vanilla skinny uh, syrup at Starbucks. But I really like the cinnamon dolce, so that's what I got. We have one more to present. We'll do that at the house. I know this video is about not being willing to give up your Starbucks, but I just wanted to end the video pointing out that this is what I do for my coffee fix every morning. I have a Keurig, my own sugar-free creamer, 
and some K-cups. This is approximately 54 cents a day. And if you do the math, at the end of the year, I spend less than $200 a year on my coffee. If you were to spend about $5.50 a day on your coffee from Starbucks, that's over $2,000 a year. That is crazy the difference with just making your coffee at home. Just wanted to leave you with that. So you don't have to be perfect at this coffee thing, whether you like it or not. Just try to be better than yesterday. Every day. Starbucks ain't got crap on you, Jenna.